guys. Thanks for joining me once again on this IXL video. We are going to be covering assignment P4, identify reflections, rotations, and translations. But before we actually get going, let's look at a nice little anchor chart to refresh our memory on what these vocab words are because it's a lot of vocab. All right, here we have our little anchor chart. Our big umbrella term for all of these is what I'm pointing to with the purple arrow right here is called transformations. That is my big broad term. That is saying there's any kind of transformation, any type of change. In class, we kind of compared that to transformers. So if you think about transformers, they start off as a car and then they transform, they change into something else. This is also related to transformers because of the way that it is notated. If we look at this very first picture, right up here, my shape that's drawn in black letters, so A, B, C, D, is my original. That's the car. And then it's being transformed, it's being changed over here into what's in green. Notice how on the letters, there's little dashes. Those are pronounced primes, like Optimus Prime. So it's been transformed, it's turned into a robot into something different. And that is labeled with those teeny tiny dashes called primes. So A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. There you go. Now, let's look into our different transformations. As you can see here, there are four on the screen. But right now, we're only focusing on three of them. The three that we're focusing on are reflections, rotations, and translations. You will do dilations later. So reflections, that's up here in the top left in green. That is when you reflect it. So it's flipped. It is a mirror image. So if that transformation occurs, there is like an imaginary line called the line of symmetry, and there is a complete mirror image of our shape. So it's kind of like our shape is flipped over. In blue, so the top right, a rotation is a turn. So it is rotated, it is turned. Notice how originally in my original image, so my pre-image, the letter A is up at the top. But after it's been rotated, the A is at the bottom. So it has turned, it's changed its orientation. And then down in the bottom left in the dark blue, the third kind is a translation. So translation is like a slide. So you're just sliding it somewhere else. So it didn't flip, it didn't turn, you just like slid it over. You shifted it up, okay? So a reflection is a flip. A rotation is a turn. And a translation is a slide. All right. Now let's go back to that IXL assignment and get a better idea of what this is. All right. We have this shape right here. And we want to know which image shows a translation. And a translation, remember, is a slide. So it's not going to be flipped. It's not going to be turned. It's just going to be slid somewhere else. So which one of these three shapes has been slid elsewhere? Our correct answer is C. If we compare these, C is the only one that it didn't turn. Like A, the triangle's been turned sideways. So that would have been a rotation. B, it's been flipped, it's backwards. That would have been a reflection. But C is the correct answer. C is the translation because it was just slid up. It was down here and now it's slid up a couple spaces. There we go. All right, let's try this one. All right, if we wanna look at this shape, we wanna know which one shows a rotation. 
Remember, a rotation is a turn. Hmm. So which one shows a turn? I would say once again, it's going to be C. Because it started right here and now it's turned up. And if it's turning, turning up, <laughs> um, then this has turned and is now right here, which is where it matches. A and B don't show that. A would be a reflection, it's flipped. B would be a translation, they just slid it over a little bit. But C, once again, is our winner. That's a rotation, that's a turn. Yeah. All right, now we are being asked to show a reflection. Remember, a, flex a reflection is like a mirror image. It's a flip. So which one of these shows a flip? Hmm. Ooh, this one almost stumped me, but once again, it's C, which is crazy that we keep getting C's. Because if we look at our shape, there's this little cutout. Right now, the cutout's on the left, but in C, the cutout's on the right, so it's been flipped. So it's a mirror image. It's the opposite. It's now turned or flipped, my bad, in facing the opposite direction. If we look back through the other choices and why they're wrong, A would be a translation, it's been slid up. B would be a rotation, it's been turned. But C is what we're looking for. C is a reflection because it's been flipped. All right, there we go. Okay, I really hope that this has helped you. That ended up being beautiful. I didn't even plan it because we were able to see one example of each type. All right, as always guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email or of course come to my help session because that's a great time that we can communicate back and forth and actually do some problems real time. All right, have an awesome rest of your day. Bye.